Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to play uh, Stretch Resolution in Apex Legends. This is working as of the latest patch, December 5th, 2019. Now before we get into the video, I'd like to say I stream Apex Legends over on Twitch. Not every day, but quite a, quite often. I don't have a set schedule yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone. Now, let's just get into it. So this is a pretty easy thing to do. There's been a couple other videos that I've seen, but it hasn't fully told me how to do everything. So I'm going to type in control panel. You're going to click on right here. Click here. Click on the view tab. And right here where it says hide extensions for known file types. This box is going to be checked. Uncheck it. Click apply. OK. That's it. So now Everything that I'm going to be doing is from the NVIDIA standpoint. I don't have an AMD graphics card, so I don't know how that works. I'm sorry. Oh, another thing. If you're on Windows 7, what I just did will look a little bit different. You will go under the Tools tab instead of your Control Panel. So in File Explorer, you'll click on Tools, and it'll be under that. So you're going to right-click on your desktop anywhere. Click on NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to change resolution. And I'm not going to tell you which stretch resolution to use. Everybody has their own opinion. People use a ton of different things. I mean, 1600 by 1080, 1440, 1280 by 960. They're all common ones, I'd say. If you want to make something that isn't within the listed here, all you do is just click on customize. Uh, click enable resolutions not exposed by display create custom resolution whatever your monitors refresh rate is if you don't know right click on your desktop again display settings scroll down advanced display settings and I'll say right here refresh rate and you will put that right here where it says refresh rate and here where it says horizontal pixels you'll type in whatever you want so if you want 1440 you type it in and just after you do that click test I already have it so if I click test it's you know gonna say you already have that resolution after you do that gonna go to adjust desktop size and position here on the scaling tab you want to set it to full screen and perform scaling on GPU also make sure that your resolution and refresh rate is the same right here Click apply on the bottom. That's it. Next, we're going to go into File Explorer, this PC, local disk C, users, whatever your PC is named, saved games, respawn, Apex, local, and video config. So you don't have to do this. I had it on read only. Um, I'm going to give you guys a couple of other tips here within your config file. So right here, where it says switch scale. If you guys are playing on high settings, this is going to be 1.0. If you're playing on medium, it's going to be 0 0.8. If you're playing on low, it's going to be 0 0.6. So you can put this number all the way down to 0 0.35 without it affecting your actual end game. I have it on 0 0.4. All this does is it lowers the quality of your game and obviously makes you get more FPS. Another thing, settings.csm enabled. This is shadows. So this will be set to 1 by default. If you want more FPS, replace the 1 with a 0. That's it. Right here. This, if you're playing on a native resolution, will say 1920 by 1080. All you're going to do is replace the two numbers with whatever resolution that you just typed into here. If you forgot, right click, video control panel, resolution. Whatever you're on, you would type into there. That's it. So you're going to click file, save, right click on it, click on properties. Make sure that you make this file read only. If not, when you launch the game, Apex is just going to set it back to its own settings because it doesn't care what you do. Apply. Okay. That's it for this. There's one last thing. So click your Windows button, type in Apex Legends. Right click, open file location. 
right click on it again, open file location, CFG, and right here where it says config default PC. You're going to right click on this file, you're going to copy it, you're going to right click again, you're going to paste it. Pretty simple stuff. And this file, you're going to copy everything, delete it. And you're going to type, where's it at? You're going to type this right here. I'll post this in the description of the video so you don't have to type all that out. You can just copy and paste it. How you get this number right here. So let's say you don't don't type this in. This is for example. So let's say we're using like 1280 by 960. What you're going to do, open up a calculator app, 1280 divided by 960. That equals 1.33. That's how I got this number. So if you're playing on something, I guess just double check. I don't know how that like how the aspect ratio number really works, but that's how it works. After that, just file save. That's it. Now the absolute last thing, you're gonna go on origin, click on the settings right here. Besides for uh make sure that you rename this folder right here to autoexec.cfg. And all that's gonna do is it will just It'll change the file from a text file to a CFG file. I'm going to click on the settings button right here. Game properties. Advanced launch options. And the only thing you need to type in here is this. Plus exec auto exec. Make sure there's a space between the two. I'll also put that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Now these other things here. Full screen obviously makes your game run a full screen. It's pretty obvious. No vid it makes your game load up faster. It gets rid of a couple of the EA screens when you launch. And this is an FPS cap. If you want this to be unlimited, FPS max, unlimited. If you want it to be 60, put in 60. Get the point? Pretty obvious. I play on a 240 hertz monitor, so I need 240 FPS. Click save. Launch your game. That's it. I'm not going to launch my game because, I mean, it's just going to look different. What I stream on is a different resolution. So, But that's it. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments. And make sure to rename this file. Autoexec.cfg. That's it.